Hi everyone, so I've got a haul um, for you. This is stuff I've got over the past couple of weeks I'd say. Um, so I've just been saving it up to get a haul. So I'll start off with this one because I've already thrown the packaging away and put it into my Z palette. And this is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Um, and I just got this from my Z palette, it's just like a warm brown. And I need to put a lever on the back so I don't forget which colour this is. So this is Swiss Chocolate. And then I'll just start off with this because this is next. This is the Stila Natural Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. It's got 13 eyeshadows in, um, 6 shimmer and, no, 7 shimmer and 6 matte. And I've already done a look with this, which will be up sometime after this video. And I used this purple shadow here. So I got that. And next, I'm just going to pick stuff out of my bag and just pull them out at random. So the first thing is a Stila Sheer Cover Tinted Moisturiser. It's got an SPF of 15 in it. Uh, I got the shade Ferro 6, which is a bit light for me at the minute. But it is probably right for me in winter. And because it's a tinted moisturiser, it's easy to kind of sheer out and blend out. So if it's not quite the right shade, it can easily be blended. Um, I got the Under the Sleep palette. This is the original palette. And... That's what that looks like. So it's all shimmery colours apart from this matte black. So it's got a light gold, two pinks, a copper, a bronze, a few greeny blue shades, this nice purple and then just the matte black. Um, this was a present from my friend who went to America. This is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder, which has got these four shades in, and if you swirl it together, it's just a really light brightening powder. And this powder is really soft, um, it sets your makeup well, and it does brighten because it's the mixture of all the colours, especially underneath the eyes. I find that it really brightens under the eyes. So that's the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. Uh, another powder is the MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder, which looks like that. Um, I got the shade Light. And this is more of a powder for dry skins. It's really creamy and I like it because I like quite a dewy finish, um, even though my skin's more on the combination side. I like this because it still mattifies your skin, but it still looks dewy. Um, so I just use it underneath the eyes and around my nose and it's good for touch ups as well because it's not too heavy you can take it out with you and if you need a touch up you can just pop it on and it won't go too cakey next is another Stila tint moisturiser this one's oil free and in this one I got the shade light And if you want me to, I can put swatches of all the eyeshadows onto my blog, which I'll post down below. Um, so this is an eyeshadow. This one is Naked Lunch. By okay, so that's Naked Lunch. It's just a nice light champagne colour. That's what it looks like. Next thing is another eyeshadow, this is one of the matte eyeshadows and this one is brown script which is why I, need, I thought I need to put a label on Swiss chocolate because I'll get confused and I will. But yeah this one's brown script, obviously they have the label on um, when you buy them but for the Z palettes you have to put the magnet over the top. So that one's brown script and it's a really warm red brown. Next I've got is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Instant Radiant Shimmer Torch and this is in the shade Radiant Rose and this is just a highlighter. It comes out like that 
which you think you could use it for a blush but if you sheer it out it goes more like a highlighter and they did have a bronzy one so if you had dark skin you could use that bronze one because I'm quite um, next is another MAC eyeshadow this is in soft brown um, the reason I got this is because you can't get this in this country and my friend just went to America so I made her pick this up for me um, but this is just a matte mid tone and I don't know why you can't get it in this country but I just can't find it anywhere so this is soft brown it's a nice crease colour and then I think this is the last eyeshadow I got from MAC um, this one is called Sketch and it is a dark brownie purple with like golden shimmer through it That's what I'm going to is a MAC lipstick. This is Candy Yum Yum. And this is a really, really bright pink. Just do a little swatch of it there. So that's Candy Yum Yum. Just a really bright pink. The next lipstick I got was Ruby Woo. Because I want to start wearing red lipsticks more. Because I feel like I don't really wear them as much. Because they don't feel like they suit me as much as other colours as news do. I'd rather play up my eyes and play down my lips. But I'm trying to get into playing up my lips and leaving my eyes a bit more nude. So this is Ruby Wee by MAC. It's just a matte red. Next thing I've picked out, I got this because I was at my boyfriend's house and I forgot to take my liquid eyeliner with me. So I just picked this one up because it was pound I think this is the two true liquid eyeliner and I actually used to use this when I was about 13 when I first started wearing makeup and it's actually pretty good for a liquid eyeliner um, so it's only two pound the brush is quite thick and stiff so it's not good if you want like a thin line but if you're going for like a dramatic cut eye then this is really black and pigmented and like the brush for a thick eyeliner look is really good. Next lipstick I got was Pure Zen by MAC which is just like this peachy nude colour that's just there that one's Pure Zen. The last lipstick I got was Snob also by MAC good if I could get it out um, this is like a just a blue tone pink And the last thing is just a small Z palette off my friend because when I go to her house I don't have to take my big ones, I can take this small one with me. So this, you put your magnets on the eyeshadows and you can stick the eyeshadows in here and you can move them around and you know take them out and switch them about. So I got that off my friend. And that is it for my haul. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put a link down below to my website to have a look at any swatches that you wanted to see. And thank you for watching.